Hi, this is Johnny. Uh, I wanted today we're gonna go over uh, the cocktail. So the cocktail image, uh, 32 gig. I wanted to add more game. And uh, before you can add more game, there's a couple of things you have to do first in order to add more game. So as you can see, I have one controller over here and another controller over here. My uh, Select and star is over here. Star and select. My L1, L2, R2, L2. That's you're not going to use with this image. You're not going to use those two. You're just going to mainly use. Uh, you're not even uh, more likely. You're not even going to use those two either. Just those main four. So because you do need the X and stuff. So this is the image was created way back a couple years ago and it's the only image and it's for Raspberry Pi 3B and 3B Plus. So if you have Raspberry Pi 3B, 3B Plus, this would be a good one to go about it. Now originally it came with only 49, 39 game and I added, now it's 53. Uh, so we're gonna go over, now all this originally set up by the person that uh, have this image. Now, when you first come in, it's not going to let you. Uh, it's not going to be that friendly use, meaning that the button do not work. Okay, so when you plug in in uh, Raspberry Pi controller, you will have to figure it out which button is the start button. So you're gonna. My start button is right here. I already set this up, so I'm gonna show you. Just you just have to feel your way around. Plug into a, a, a controller that have a lot of buttons so you can figure it out which button is what. Because when I first plug it in, I have to, uh, I have 8, 9, 10 button, and I have to figure out which button is actually the start button. Okay. So once you get the start button, you want to go into config your input. Okay, it's very important you press any try to figure out which button is to configure it and then you have to configure your button. Alright, so let's go ahead and, and, and do it. I press yes and I just hold any button, more like the A button prefer. Then you move the let's see we move this button over here. So we're gonna move this one uh, controller right here. We're gonna move it up, down, left right and then we're gonna press the the star button which is mine is over here star and then select and then my a button will be the first button a right here and b and then x will be up here instead of the oh, x will be here and i also plug in it correctly based on the the number order like one you know one two three you know so Make sure you plug your controller. So my left, left will be on the top, right shoulder, and left trigger, right trigger, and I don't have any thumb thing. So I don't have left thumb, right, right analog. So I'm just gonna hold the button one time, disappear, hold it again. It will say it already, it's already assigned to another button, so it won't take it. So just keep on going till you reach to the bottom. Now. You cannot just keep on holding it and hoping the whole thing will do it. See, if I hold it, it won't do it. You gotta release, press it, and then we'll go to the next one. Hold it. Now the last one, I always recommend using the start button, select button. So my hop key would be my select button. Okay. Then press A to get out. Alright. So this this part is how to configure it. You have to do it for both controller for this side and for that side as well this one i have crazy but now i even have l3 uh l4 and actually i got this flip in the wrong direction i need to uh, turn it around and yeah okay so yeah i have the l3 l4 uh r2 r3 and star select and i have one two three four and then have a uh, the other button on the side and some more button in the front so yeah it's crazy that was just for testing purpose okay so once you finish you're gonna press the b button 
uh, which is this button to get out of the screen. Now your controller is working good and the next step you have to, you have to do we, in order to do it we're going to use the wi Wi-Fi or the network direct network connection. So I have a network plug in directly into my Raspberry Pi that looked like a Nintendo 64 which I created a long time ago which is pretty cool. Uh, let me just make the brighter. Yeah, Nintendo 64. It even have a fan on top. Now the new case now you could find this in Amazon, eBay. That now they include it where you could actually put a fan. I what I did is I, I put a copper and then I put the fan on it and I just tape it right on top. And then this is the RJ45, my video card, my power and my amplifier now this one use amplifier speaker so it does uh, doesn't use the the sound that coming from here which is fine because we're going to be uh, modeling the raspberry pi so we're going to use the uh, amplifier okay so you're going to go into here you will have to set up oh, there his a is actually to get out so you have to, you have to press the b button Right in the right spot. There you go. A button. Okay. All right. We're going to configure a couple things first. So we're going to go into the screen. Zoom in. We need to configure the wide network. Okay. So you're going to go now. If you want to change your audio to come out from the from HDMI, you could go to audio and change it. Right now, I'm fine with what it has because I'm going to use an amplifier instead so you're going to press a here and you will have to set up the wi-fi okay so you're going to connect to wi-fi now mine is connected to the wi-fi one is 79 one is uh, is weird my wi-fi is 78 but my direct network connection is 79 now if you have a direct cable plug in you don't have to do anything you just need to know the ip address but if you want to connect to the wi-fi you just have to press a and then you have to pick your your connection okay so mine it would be uh johnny and then you, once you once you press it it's going to ask for password you type in your password and then once you type in your password it will give you an uh, ip address okay then you're going to get out uh, get out press a so that's the first thing you have to do to to get ip address and once you finish, you're going to run this command. This is the very important command. It's called run, run command configuration. Run command configuration. You need that in order to able to access the ROM that you just added. Otherwise, you won't able to change it and it, some of them will work, some of them will be bizarre and not working, okay? Like Galaga 88 that came with the system, it wasn't working correctly, so I had to fix it. And it, and you have to fix it, otherwise it, it's not playable. So you're gonna press A. That's the only game that I have tested in uh, May that I noticed it wasn't working. Now I haven't tested all the games like uh, Genesis, Super Nintendo. I didn't do, I didn't test all the games there. I was more focused on arcade. But here, launch menu. Make sure it was disabled like this you want to turn it on okay and the uh, artwork it was enabled already but if it if it's not you want to enable it launch menu joystick was already turned on I think the only thing you have to do was the the first two this one and this one you want to turn it on all right make sure you turn those I what I did is I turned all three now this one is saying how long you want the system to wait before it start the game, before it let you press A, it's two seconds, which is fine. So once it started, just have to press A, A, A real quick. Or you could change the number to a three. Uh, that was uh, the standard default is three, but two is fine. I'm just gonna exit out here, press A. Now he set up to two, so I just left it at two. All right, so those are the two most important things you have to do first. Now. I have tried to upgrade this with the new script. It messed up this uh, Raspberry Pi big time. I, the image is totally deleted. So you want to back up your images uh, 
after all the changes so you don't have to go back and reconfigure your joystick one joystick two so what I normally do is once I set up all this I will make up make another image for myself with the control is already being fixed before I go on with it because I don't want to repeat this step every time I add something and I messed up the image so just FYI so once it's finished you're gonna press uh, B and you're gonna go like this is a Super Nintendo and main so let me explain to you which one was messed up now I, I added a couple images in here and I'll put it on the description below which one I add. I add a centipede and the centipede actually work on both, both directions very nicely. Uh, let me focus the screen. Okay, now I added the defender as well. Now defender do not work on both sides. I don't think it work on both sides. And some of them will work on both directions, which will flip the screen when you play it, and then some of them. Now, Galaga 88 do not flip screen, so it, do, it doesn't work. So you will have to change the to May 2000. It only give you two, two court, C O R E. Uh, we call it the the emulator. It only gave you 2000 and May 2003 only. So it will not work with the cocktail on this one. It worked cocktail nicely with Galica. Uh, this one too, Gap, uh, Galica Plus and also Galica. But it do not work with uh, Galica 88. So in order for it to work, you will have to change it to uh, May 2000. To do that, you started the game. Remember we, we turn on the, so you just keep on press A, okay and if you go too far just make sure you click cancel otherwise you will change the main the main one the main one is always set to 2003 okay you want to do that because 2003 have a cocktail option so we're going to go over that so you that's how you you able to make your game uh be cocktail if you use the may two uh, if you go down here if you use the may 2000 it doesn't have a cocktail option Meaning that you only could play one side of the screen. You cannot play two people. You will not flip the screen over. Because when you choose the May 2003, it just don't work. So you just have to come press A. And then if you select 2003, it's not going to work. It's going the screen is one size over here, one size over here. You can't see the full screen or the setup. So there's not much you could do. So uh, that's how I fix it by changing to May uh, May 2000 okay so that's how you change it and then when you it automatically save whatever you whatever you do here it automatically save so you just go ahead and launch the game now I'm going to show you two places you that is important to if you want to go to the main setup or you want to go to the retro art so how do you get to retro art in, in May okay so we're gonna zoom back out and I'm gonna show you uh, the button pushing okay uh, I got some little note over here I'm put it over here so it won't look as sloppy as it's a note for myself all right so let's go ahead and to get into the main setup you want to press the star and X okay so here's my star here's my X so I hold the star press the X button Select and X will give you the retro art. I don't know why that one is not working. I don't know if it got to do with a different one because the May 2003, that's how you get it, but May 2000 is maybe, maybe a little bit different. We're gonna figure it out soon. All right, so this is how you get into the system and change the, the shade and, and uh, if you wanna go back, you press, Okay, so we're gonna let me see if we press star and different button.
Okay. So you do use different buttons. So for May 2003, you do use L. You do use this last button, which is the R2. So it's L1, R1, L2, R2. So you have to use star and L2 to get the May 2003. Okay. And May 2003, it doesn't, to, to make the cocktail, you have to go to, uh, this one would be B. And it doesn't have a cocktail option. So May 2000 do not have cocktail option. So you cannot fl uh, flip the screen. All right. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and press start and select to get out the game. And we're going to look at the one that is, is May 2003. For example, let's go to this one. This is the one I just added. So let's press A. I get the confused with the A and B sometimes because some of the stuff is the B is the main action button and A is not A is to get out. So it is a little bit different. Okay, the ROM started so I couldn't show you uh, is using May 2003, but you just have to press the A, uh, A button real quick before uh, beforehand. Now, since this is May 2003, my star and X should work. Huh, let me take that back. Okay, it's opposite. It's, you do, I guess you do need to you do need to have this two button. You probably will not need this two. But your trigger button, you need to turn it on, shoulder button. So this is L2, and this is, I mean, L2, R2. So the May 2000 is L, R2. And for 2003 is L2, okay? Now, you go to the dip, dip stretch press A and you have to turn on the cocktail see right here is called cocktail if you don't turn it on after a second player it won't flip the screen so if you change it to white white up meaning it's only going to play one player on this side all the time one player two player always going to be on this side so you want to change it to cocktail to flip the screen all right so I'm going to demonstrate this real quick Press, oh, you cannot press any button, you have to select return to the main menu. So this one have a dip, dip switch and you could you have a cocktail option where the 2000 do not. Okay? And the reason he put 2000 there is for people who want to play the game, single player that doesn't care about flip screen, then you know give the option to do that. But most of the game it will be 2003 on this one. Alright, so I'm gonna press, I'm gonna select A again to get out of this game. Alright, so in order to play two player, let me go back out again and we're gonna start because I'm not sure that I press the select button. So I'm gonna get out of the game and we're gonna go back in again and I'm gonna show you that I'm using 2000. So keep on pressing A when you see this uh, picture and then you will come here and then just cancel out. So as you can see, I'm using uh 2003 not i didn't i didn't edit this second line I'm, i kept it in 2003 okay so we're gonna go ahead and launch the game now in order to play two player you have to press a uh, select button so what i normally do is to play two player i select the start button on the second player first so i select two coin then I come back here and put and select, uh, that's a star, so I select this size, uh, two coin. And then I go over here and, and press the star button to start the game from player two. Now player one will start first, okay? So we're gonna play player one. And I'm going to, now they use the Y button for, if he used the Y button for the shooting, even though it was remap, but the way he set it up on the retro, you can always go to uh, arcade. Okay, so I'm dead. 
Now the screen is flipped over to the other side. So it's not on this side, the score now is on this side. So I have to come over here and press the Y button. So that is pretty, that's, that's awesome, okay? So yes, you could add your own ROM and make sure that the cocktail, make sure, well, pick May 2003, and then once you go in by pressing uh, star and R2, not R1, not X. I, at first I thought it was X because it was map wheel over there because I didn't plug those correctly. So it would be this button, L2. Okay, and then your shoot button will be Y. Your A and B do not do nothing, okay? So it will be your Y button. He got everything set up to be Y button for your shooting. So if I, if I catch you all the, all the B, it will become part of my spaceship shooting, which this one is pretty cool. I really like this game. You could go up, you could go down. Ooh, I got one got killed. So I still have three ships. Alright, and I believe if you press one of these buttons, you, this is the low and this is a save. So you press select, select, and L1. I mean, this L1, R1, you will save. Okay, if you want low, we're gonna press low and we'll pick up where, where you left off. Cool. All right. Start and select to get out. So the top is to low. R1 is to save by pressing the select button. That's the start button and that's the select button. So you want to press the select button, select button, and low. For so for for example, I'm going ahead and start the game, and I'm going to load the game where I left off. So let's go ahead and press A again, and I'll show you that the save stage does work okay so once it started it's gonna take a while it's always gonna take a while on his setup on, on this image so you just have to wait and then it's gonna check the the bio because it's RK bio now I'm gonna go ahead and hold I'm gonna press the select button and press let me show let me show my hand so you can see what I'm doing okay so this is my L1 is to load. So I'm gonna load the image that I already saved. So I'm gonna press start and see. So it pick up where I left off. See that? It pick up where I left off. Now I just died because I didn't move. Now it's going to the second player. So yes, you could save the stage and come back and play later. Okay, so that is pretty much it. This image is the image you're going to, there's two places you could put the image but you know how each time you start the game it show a title that image come from the, the location I, I will show you in the computer where that image is so if you press star you will see the this image if you don't have any image in the main ROM folder it's going to pick up the image from the, the location both this one and the other one is going to be the same image. Okay, start and select to get out. All right, that's pretty much it on this one. Now, whenever you change anything on the computer, you have to make sure that you, uh, you, no, A is to start, B is to get out, so. So once it started, you could get out. All right. So it's B to get out. So, so if you was to uh, do any kind of changes or add new game, make you have to go ahead and press the start button, and just go to quit, and then we start the system. Okay. And that way, the images, it will be uh, uh, the new setup, the new change you did to game dot xml will be it will read the new one 
and then uh, so if you add a new game you have to put that in the setup so you will know where to find the image and all that stuff and then you have to put the game into the ROM folder in May dash lipo you have to put it in that folder in order for it to work all right let's go to the computer and look at it so you know how to do that so you can add more game to your cocktail uh, image and I will give you the image where I got this uh, from RK Punk and I'll give you the link so you could download it directly from them and then you could do add more game or do, do modification to it uh, before you uh, put it into your your cocktail build so I'm going to put this image into the RK Punk Mini now RK Punk Mini I guess they have two versions because when I went to Best Buy I see the, the button the spinner is in the middle and the button is on left and right and then the one I got was the button two button is on here and the spinner is on this side I prefer that one, that one better than the two button on this both sides so and so alright let's go to the computer and I'll show you how I add the game to it we're gonna add maybe one or two games and then we could we could test to see if it worked or not. Alright. Okay, we're in the computer now. And uh, the IP address we have was 192.168.1.79. So when you do that, you press enter and it will give you this uh, one, two, three, four automatic. You can see all those. Now my did not ask me for the password because once you log in, you don't have to log in again. So the the username would be pi, pi, p as in Peter, pi, and it had to be lowercase. And then the password is raspberry pi, r, a, s, p, then b, e, r, r, y. And I'll put that in the description, the username and password. So once you log in, you want to do uh, is go into the ROM, okay? And the ROM is not in RK, it's in May like uh, Lipo Retro. Okay, Library Retro, okay, Lipo Retro. So you click on it and that's where all this is. Okay, you don't want to do anything to those things. Uh, those are for like other stuff. So there's nothing you, you don't, you just pretty much find the ROM you want, you want it and then put it over here. Now, what I did is I, I went and downloaded uh, the May 2003 to be the safe side, so I don't have to keep on going back and forth, back and forth, making sure the game is working on 2000 or 2003. Since we are using 2003 as a main uh, screen, I want to get the 2003. So, so I'm going to go... Well, the way you look for it is you go to the uh, ROM selection and you just actually type in uh, May 2003. So like for example, like this is one I was looking for the physical name, but if I was to look for the ROM pack, this is all the stuff that I was searching to find a game that RK one up have that I could download. This game work well, you know, and this game do not work the bunk so if you're a bunk uh, fan, you might not want to mod this uh, count. They call they actually call it a counter cage. I don't know why they didn't call it a cocktail, even though it's a cut. I guess they don't want, they don't want to confuse people. But this is what you would type. Uh, this is the website that will have the food pack. So I went to and click on this, and this is where I got this one. Okay. So once I get it, I download the tones and I double click the tones update and I think I already deleted it. It will actually download I'm using the Qubit tones. It's like 4.4 and then I, I download it. So I'm still downloading some other stuff that I'm playing with. So you just want to download that, that tones. So you just click on download. Yeah, once you click on download, you just have to wait. System is slow. Let me try again. Yeah, see, 
and then you just save it you know like cocktail save you could just save it probably going to say okay so once you it probably is going to pop up one more time because i clicked it so twice already then you just double click this and then you could download all the main 2003 uh emulator and the q q block is going to ask you where you want to store this so you just uh open the now a lot of a lot of this thing you don't need because it's not necessary because the only thing you want is the ROM so you're gonna go to the external hard drive which in mine is a 12 terabyte and then I'm gonna look for cocktail and then I'm gonna say okay I want to complete 2000 main then I just click select I already have one already because I is the same one so I'm not gonna do it again so I'm gonna click cancel and then once you finish download you just unzip it pretty much all right and that's how you find the, the ROM for the May 2003. So once you find the ROM May, May 2003, you're going to copy it into that directory. So I'm going to go to my cocktail, if I could find it, cocktail. And there is my May 2003 complete set. And there's that torrents. And then I'm going to look for the ROM. Now, some of this, the reason it have a folder in here is because some of the game require that you have, uh, uh, what you call it? <clears throat> now, this will work if you have Pi 4. Not all the game will work like Killer Instant 1 and 2. It give you the CHD. So if you was to copy the Killer Instant uh, 1 and 2 over here, it will not work because this is Raspberry Pi B, Raspberry Pi 3B plus. It will not work because that game is too, the machine is not powerful enough to run this. Okay. And then, uh, so any kind of game you want it to run, you have to, uh, you know, make sure you copy that over here. I'm checking for a, a game that wasn't working. I want to see if I can make it work because I know it worked on my other machine, but some reason it does not work on this machine, which is kind of weird. Okay. So anyway, you just find a game you want and then just copy over. I don't know what other game that I want. Uh, I guess I could do the... I forgot the name of the Wild Wild Web because all this is the bio name and I don't know what is the okay let me look for the Wild Wild West by go to Google search so like for example if you don't know the name you know the physical name but you don't know you do not know the ROM name okay so the best way to go about finding out the ROM name is typing the uh, Wild Wow, West May, uh, and then you type in the word Wow Worms. Now, one thing I like about Wow Worm, this site, it gives you the physical name. Okay, and when you get to the so this one is a Wow Wow West, which is a, uh, the cowboy, which is the the Moo Moo Cow stuff. And uh, so, if I want this one. I just need to know the name and the physical name is called Moo M-E-S-A okay so M-E-S-A that's the game I want <clears throat> M-E so Moo Moo M-E-S-A okay so we're gonna look for M-O-O M so Unfortunately, that game is not supported by uh, May 2003. So if you was to copy over, it more likely will not work. So that's the problem. Where's the one is the cowboy uh, shooting game? Oh, let's try, let's try download some uh, Marvel uh, game. Let's let's get let's let's get the one that I really like. 
I don't know the one named either. So I'm going to close this one out. And uh, so that game is not supported. So let's try. Uh, X-Men vs. Uh, vs. Capcom? I think it's X-Men vs. Capcom? Yeah, this one. X-Men vs. Capcom. So, X-Men vs. Capcom 1 would be this one. So, this is the physical name and this is for May. I don't know what May is this one is. Okay. So this is using the version 1.39 version, and this is the name. So FUR1, X-Men vs. FUR1. So FUR1, X. So we do have X-Men here. I guess we could try this X. Well, I don't know which one is a two player. That's the thing. Okay, X Men vs. Street Fighter right here. So it does have a lot of version of it, and I'm going to pick this one first one. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that, and going to come over here, and let's might as well copy the X Men as well since we are looking straight at it. So I'm going to copy those two. Okay. And I'm going to paste it right here. Okay. Now we need to know the physical name as well because we don't want it messed up. So we're going to go ahead and copy the physical name and put it on the notepad. So we know we need to have the image have the same name. Or otherwise, it's not going to work. So the, my game list that I added, I'm going to put it right here. And then the other one is called X-Men. I think I should pick this one, X-Men with two players instead of that one, because otherwise it might not let you choose different character. No, no, no. I think it, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's use this one instead. Now I'm going to show you that this one, I'm not going to create a game list or a picture for it. And you still will see it, but it, you know, we're going to see what happened. What's the difference between that one and the other one? Okay. Let's go back to my notepad. All right. So I'm going to put this one and this one. This is the main two that I'm going to use. Okay. So the WAM is there. Now we need the pictures. Okay. We don't have the picture because this WAM set do not give you a picture. So we finished with the WAM. And... Oh, there was a game that I was looking at. I wanted to know if it worked here, but I, apparently it do not. The Demon Font. Uh, Demon Font is not supported by May 2003. Maybe 2000 plus, but it doesn't support by 2000. That's the reason I couldn't get that game to work. Uh, this is the one that I tried right here. Demon Font. It does not even load on 2000 or 2003. So yeah. If it's not there in the, the main 2000 library complete set, more likely it's not going to work. So that's the reason I download this one. So I don't have to go to the trouble of copying it over and find out that it do not work. Okay. All right. So now the problem is we don't have an artwork. So this is the part where you have to search Google search for artwork or you could, uh, what I normally do, Yeah, you could search for artwork, or you could actually get it from uh, the other place. Uh, let's Google search it. Let's do the old-fashioned way. So we're going to get out to the main page. Then we're going to go to configure. And then we need the image. So we're going to go to config. And this will be all in the description, so you know exactly where to go. 
and we're gonna go to emulation emulation station and download is the part that you was, when you boot into the game you see that little uh, thing this is the where all the images so let's view the image and that's what the image look like okay so let's make it more let's make it bigger so you can see it better so this is all the images you could use this image you could use this you could use anything you want okay but you want to be consistent i think the reason some of them i don't know why he choose some of them with a bigger picture maybe he can't find the the wheel but yeah that's what he used okay so actually i do have i'm gonna go to I'm, I'm gonna be lazy because I know there is a there's a one called a complete set of motion blue one pack now this is by uh, uh, the person named pick uh, pick picklet pickly pick pig the uh, pie picklet picky picklets I guess pie pickles he have also created a four terabyte and this one I don't know how many terabyte but it's made for motion blue purpose so it have artwork it have wheel it have everything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the RK and look for those two artwork because those are very popular uh, game and I already unzip it so go to home go to pie I don't know why this one is like that but it's just a little bit different and I'm gonna go to the wheel now I could go to download image, which is the same, but this picture is not synchronizing with the, the original creator of that image. So I'm gonna use the wheel instead. And oh, this wheel is kind of rounded. I don't like that either. Okay, forget about that one. Uh, all right, let's go to, hmm. I don't know why that one is created like that. So I'm gonna get out here. Okay, so I found the image that I, I have stored, my other image that I copy out to the to the computer. So I'm gonna look for uh, X-Men. And that name should be uh, the same. The only thing I have to do is I have to add it to underscore, I mean dash image dot J, JPEG. So I'm gonna click on X, and there's my X-Men and there's my X-Men for Street Fighter okay now I need to copy those and I'm going to paste it here now the size wise is not the same you can always change the size to match with the, the other one but I chose not to just gonna leave it the original and now I need to uh, change the name. So the name I want to change to is going to be this this name. I'm going to add the dash image in front of in behind it. So this one I think I'm using X Men Two. So I'm going to put two and then Control V. All right. I'm going to say yes. Change the format to JPEG instead of PNG and I'm gonna rename this one as well so delete 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 control V and enter yes all right now I want to make sure that my name is correct I'm using oh see I forgot the P so I need to change that back to X-Men 2 P all right the other one is correct uh, X-Men vs F Street Fighter that's correct so the image is created and I'm good to go. Oh, you already have one. Sometimes this image already have one, so you don't need to create it. I just leave it like that, it's fine. Okay, so you did your image, you done, you go back. And this is the image for Genesis and uh, th that he already created, you know, nicely done, all the box art, okay? So if you wanna do Genesis, you do the same thing like I'm doing right now. Okay, but I'm doing the RK right now. All right, so finish the artwork. Uh, now you, you go to game list. Okay, so this is the description, IP address, config, all, it's always all, and then email, 
emulation station and then gameless now since we are working on gameless for may we're going to double click here and we're going to open this with notepad plus plus that i recommend because it's easier to read there's a number beside it and you could uh, this file has been modified by another program do you want to reload yeah of course reload okay all right so we're gonna go down to the bottom i always want to start from the bottom and i'm going to pick uh oh so now everything is in sorted order it's not in uh see my w is over here now okay so you can put it in any place. The Raspberry Pi will automatically put it in the right spot for you. So since this is a Capcom game, uh, I could use the Capcom local, which is, I don't have it. Oh, this one is not working correctly. That's why it's, oh, it's called bootleg. Oh shoot, it doesn't even have the image location. That's why it's not working. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find one of this. Okay, and I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going down here and then I'm going to press enter, backslash, and then control V. Now, this one is the one I'm having problems. So I'm going to copy that moonwalk and change that name to, and then call this Michael Jackson. Also BS, Oop, what happened to my puzzle? And call it, call it moonwalk. Some reason it, it found one somewhere up there on the top weird okay then i'm going to change this see how this name is you have to match the name with the name here in order for it to to work with the pictures and this is made by i believe by seika okay so you just put in the company name so you know this is okay all right so i don't need this two line because it's not necessary just keep track of how many times you play or whatever all right so this is what it's supposed to look like for michael jackson and this one is not correct that's why i didn't have no pictures so i'm going to delete that okay so that's how you created the uh, to the game list now this is not correct because this is not a wall log description. So you want to change the name to uh, right here. So it's a single screen action game. Okay. Okay. So no flip. No flip screen. So if you play two player, it's gonna be in a single screen. It's not gonna flip one game. You're not gonna split the screen where you can see two people playing. This is not happening. This this one does do not work. So just FYI. And then when you finish, you just click save. Now we're gonna do one more. And two more. We're gonna do X-Men and X-Men something. Okay, so we're gonna click copy and press enter, backslash, control V, and enter. Control V. Okay, I like to it to line up straight, and that's why I like about this notepad. It line up everything for you correctly. Okay, now I have three Michael Jackson, so we need to delete one of those. Okay, uh, we need to put the X Men right here. Okay, so to copy the name correctly, we're going to come here, and we are going to copy this name. We're going to make sure that we change this one to X-Men 2P and then the image is also the same. So you have an image and then here is not going to be Michael Jackson, it will be just X-Men 2 player.
and then here we're going to put x man Yep, so we got X-Men, X-Men, and X-Men, I don't know who made the X-Men, I guess it's by Kanoki, Kano Kano I don't know how to spell it, I'm just going to put uh, by Capcom, <laughs> I'm not sure, this part, is, is it important? No, it's not important, it's just something to look at, you know, and it's a uh, fighting. Okay, so if you want to make the name easier, I don't want the second uh, moonwalk here because the one on top is very similar to the one below it. So I'm going to delete this part and I'm going to take this X Man and create another one so I could, I don't have to type as much. Ugh, copy. And I'm going to create another one, and this one is going to be X-Men vs. Street Fighter. So we'll take that off. And then I'm just going to copy just the front of it. So the picture will be correct. And this will be X Men vs. Street Fighter. Now, I do not know this game will flip because uh, more likely it will not flip because don't know. I don't know if it will have two split screen where you could play on both sides or not, but. This is something, you know, to try out. I don't think neither one of this will. I think this one, I think it's a bad decision I did. I used this one to, to do the demo. Both of this are fighting game. Two player show up in one screen. So this, both of this will not work on the cocktail. That's why it was never installed. So this is not a good one to uh, demo. But this is how you add it. Okay, this is how you add it. Uh, I should have picked another one. Let me find another one and uh, we'll skip this tutorial, skip that part. I'm just going to add it and I'll tell you which one. I also went and copied the 64 gig uh, Pi 4 ROM set and the game list directly over from another image to this side, which is RK. Now the RK, I don't have anything in there. I only have I only have the one is called May uh, Lipo Retro. So, oh, I went and we boot the system, so it's gonna take a while to load up. But that's what I'm doing. So we're gonna go over to that uh, Raspberry Pi um, machine, and we're gonna see uh, those three games that I added plus the whole 500 562 item that I just copy over, roughly about 500 maybe 590 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 probably minus 14 so about about 540 games that was copied to here so this is what we just added and so i will put this on the description of the game that we just added. I just added this game because I know this is a single player so I want to see if it actually rotate when we choose uh, uh, May 2003 and then I know those two are two players so more likely those two will not work. It's same thing like Michael Jackson Moonwalk it just you have to play in the same screen it doesn't have a split screen unfortunately. So I don't think those two will work. But we're going to test those three out and then test the one I just added, the RK, see what it looks like. All right, that's pretty much how I do it on this image. Uh, I haven't test other images, like vertical images, and try to turn on the cocktail by pressing the star and, you know, the L2. I haven't tried that yet. So some other ROM setup is not... L2, you don't need to do L2, you just do star and, you know, Y or X to, to turn on the 
emulator. But this this other stuff down here, I won't able to put that into uh, this greater and plus this I cannot put it in there for example because the U2 will not accept the greatest and minus symbol. So I won't be able to copy this and put it into the description. So long, everything else will be in the description just to let you know. All right. Okay, let's go to the Raspberry Pi and check it out. Okay, we're back here. Um, we just I just added this randomly just to see what's going on. But this is uh, the one that I actually add. So let's go ahead and zoom in because we are not going to be uh, doing any kind of button pushing. We're just going to go. So now it's 57 game. So we're going to go ahead and check out the, the new game that I added, which is the x-men two player and this one don't have anything because it says a four player the only man recognizes a four player so this is a two player and this is a x-men plus three fire so that's the name description that i put in so that's so let's let's try it and it's d4 is going to be may 2003 if you don't do anything uh, that's the picture that we pick that i use and i didn't shrink the picture size you could to make them all look the same but it, it only mattered shrink the size correctly for for the image so it, it's going to be okay now this portion is always going to load up a little bit slow so just don't pan it maybe a couple seconds before it come up now i don't know this will allow me to play uh since x-men is a two-player game i don't know i don't think it will split the screen automatic so it's a one screen option okay so let's go ahead and press uh Slack. and I'm gonna select slack on this side too and I'm gonna press star so the second player is okay and I'm gonna select this side So like I said, the screen did not flip. So we're going to try to press, uh, let's see. Okay. So let's see if there's any uh, dip switch. Input, input gain, gain, gain. No, there's no uh, dip switch. So you cannot change to a cocktail. Uh, so we're going to return the game. So if I do select Okay select I press select and X so I got this screen As you can see it's using 2003 but there's nothing here that I could do to make this uh So I'm just going to uh, press B to get out. So yeah, this game will work, but it will not play as a it will not play as a two play uh, two player with the two different screens split. So that's the bad that's the downside of the Raspberry Pi on this. Unless you actually buy two screen one screen here one screen here and put it into a cocktail i saw a video that somebody actually did that which is pretty cool but you just won't get a full vertical gameplay you just get a, a portable screen on one side and a portable screen on the other side that is doable if you plug into a, a vh uh, i have an adapter where it will display on two screens at the same time so that will work okay all right so let's get out of here press start and select so X-Men vs Street Fighter will work on May 2003 but it just won't play the the split screen and I think this will be the same thing with this one as well the X-Men 2 player it's going to be the same same thing so 
So it's going to take about... Four, oh, nice. This one does, which is kind of weird, but then at the same time, the font is so big. See, this is the problem I'm having is some of the ROM it will give you a split screen but the game is so zoom in that you can't really see anything see that but it does give you a perfect split screen so let's try to go to the the bio and let's see if we could make it smaller like press B go to setting let's go to video see if we could change the instead of 3 by 4 let's see if we could do anything with this yeah either way it's still gonna be zoom in a lot Yeah, it's still going to be the same way. Uh, I have played with that and I didn't see any uh, see anything different on it. Because I might have to go back and check other people's video. But I think... Let's turn this one on. Hmm. Rotate 90 degree. That's not going to help me anything normal 90 degree 180 degree 90 degree 276 yeah so there must be something in here that we could do to make this possible i just at this moment i'm still new i'm not expert at this some of you might know you could tell me but i'm not expert with cocktail this is the first time i'm playing with a cocktail so, but I'm showing sure what I have figured out how to add game to it. So that's pretty much it. Let's go press B, B, and let's go ahead and just try to start the game, see what happened. can't even see the character I'm choosing but this one does have a split screen it's just that the screen is so zoom in and you do have two players so I have to I have to play with this a little bit more to see if I could actually make this work you know but for some reason is zooming so big all right let's try so you can't even see the Yeah, I can't even see the, the setup. Okay. All right, let's get out of this game. All right, so that game, it will not work. Okay? So the only way you can make this game work is by uh, going into uh, press A and change it to May 2000. And the May 2000 doesn't have a cocktail sp sp split screen, so you will not have that problem. Ooh, it won't work on May 2000 on this game. So forget that. It will work on May 2003, but because it's a cocktail. Interesting. Yeah, it's just the screen is zooming so much. I don't know why. So I guess X Men versus Capcom. I mean, X Men by itself will not work on this on this system. So we have to remove it. All right. So that one definitely we have to delete it because it do not work. The X-Men vs. Street Fighter work on only one screen only. 
and there's a new game called this one I'm hoping this one will work okay it's a one screen player game uh, we're gonna see if it allow you to play uh, two player where it was flip the screen automatic or not we're gonna see this is one of the arcade game arcade one up game that was introduced by arcade one up uh, I I never run into this game or know about this game until RK1 up introduced this game. So I'm gonna press select button from uh, this side. Okay, so there is two player. That's good. That's good to know. And I'm gonna press the select button here too. And then I'm gonna select the start button on this side. Alright, so let's see what happened. So if I was to die would it automatically flip to the other side? Okay, I died. Now let's see if the screen will automatically flip to the other side. If it does, that will be awesome. It looked like it did. Cool. So even though I, it's a hit and miss, miss, hit and miss, and this one tend to work. So if I was to play this game, I'm gonna be using this side now. Yep, it worked on this side. So this game, it actually worked. That is so awesome. Now it's flipped to this side. I'm gonna play on this side now. So if you to zoom out, I'm over here on this side of the joystick. Push the button. Uh oh. Better run before I get hit. I forgot which button is the push button. There you go. Yeah, finish. So that is pretty cool. So this one does work successfully. Excellent found another one that worked okay now the funny part is I have a whole bunch of ROM and a new game list that I just added randomly and I know those ROM require 2010 2016 and 2000 May 2003 plus okay and I we don't have that so oh I just pressed the play button again I meant to press B to get out So you can't get out of the game until start it. So I'm going to press start and select to get out. Okay, so we'll press B instead of A, B. Okay, we're going to try this. All right, I meant, I'm a little bit hesitated because I don't know that this will work by adding a brand new list of RK. Okay, now this one does support a video. We're gonna try some game that we know that does work like Centipede. That's a new one that I added. And I want to know if it works. Will it automatically go to 2003? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see. We'll press A and then we're gonna keep on press A. Oh it does work. Wow. Cool. Alright, so I'm gonna insert insert coin. I don't know this one it I don't think it's I don't know the insert coin doesn't work here and insert coin does not work here either I don't know is it because it's configured with uh, Raspberry Pi 4 instead of Raspberry Pi 3 I don't know but it does not have the RK is not set up to do anything which is weird because none of my start and select button work. How about select and select? Yeah, I can't get out. So, yes, there's going to be a problem by doing this. Okay. But the game does start it. It just won't play. I think it's because it's missing the, the port, the ROM port. But I don't know why it will view it. But it's missing something. So, 
So I'm gonna remove that all case stuff out. But uh, but yeah, you could actually uh, put in the. Uh, yeah, I can't get out until I reboot it. So let me turn it off and turn it back on. So you can just cop you, you cannot just copy stuff over to any folder you want. The one is already created for you, like Genesis, Super Nintendo. Those will be safe to do that. You could copy the game to the one is already created for you. Uh, don't do what I just did, which I just randomly copy the arcade game to a folder called arcade, but there's nothing set up. So if it's nothing set up based on this image it's not gonna work okay now Super Nintendo have stuff that okay we're gonna try uh, Super Nintendo where we're gonna try one player game and see if you could actually play two player So it's booting up. So you do want to see this, that's good. That's the signal meaning it's, it's working. Alright, so I'm gonna press Oh, I think I accidentally select one player. Uh, let's try. Now I can't figure out which one is a uh, one player king and one is a... Uh, I know Ninja Turtle you could play two people at the same time. Two player. Which is good. Now I'm looking for like it's only a one player game. And you have to uh, rotate screen. Let's try this one. Meaning that you have to take turn to play it. So I wonder, am I able to do that with uh, this one? Because the main is different than the... Now, he did something different where other people had not have done or uh, in mostly a uh, main game, but he got the home console working with the split screen. So he press start. Uh, will start work on this side? No, start does not work on this side. So this game is a one player game so we don't have the option to choose two player even though it gives you a split screen so somebody sit beside you could watch you play so that's about it. Alright so what happened if I was to die pretty much you still stay on this side of the screen. Yeah I'm still using this side of the controller. Alright so that that one is not a good example to test. Uh, sh Let's try Aladdin and see if that's a two player game or not. So, most of the game in Nintendo, Genesis, and uh, NES will have a split screen. Oh, by the way, I went and uh, delete the arcade that didn't work out of my image, uh, out of this image, and then I also uh, 
Oh, so we moved the X Men uh, arcade game that doesn't work on May 2003. I also removed it. So we could go back and check it. Okay. Game game option. Okay, control type one jump. So he doesn't have two player on this game as well. So you cannot play two player rotating joystick. So let's get out of that game. Yeah, it's it's hard to play uh, two player when there's no The game is either two player against each other or Yeah, let's just play Ninja Turtle in time. Let's see if that other side joystick will work. So let's press the start button on this side. Yep. And then start button on this side. Two player. I have to press the stop button too. Okay, I can't choose the same character, so I guess I'll choose Rafael on the first player. And this one, I choose uh, Rafael and. I forgot what was it? Donald Taro? Uh, no, I didn't pick Donald Taro. I think I picked Michael Angelo or something. So I'm playing Le not Le Le Leo, 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 not Nana or something like that. So and then this one would be on this side. It's hard to play upside down. Yeah, so that, that's cool. You could play both sides, two player. That's one thing cool about it. So if it's one player, it's, you're only going to be the primary side, but your screen will be small. So, alright. So same thing with the Nintendo. Same thing. Press B to get out. Okay. So the only thing is real cool is the main. May give you either full screen or split screen. Where Super Nintendo, everything is split screen. And same thing with Sega Genesis and uh, Nintendo. They're all going to be always be split screen, so your screen will be small on both sides. But for the arcade, if you could find more that work with cocktail, like I just found one that was real cool that worked, which is the this one called the Ram, the new game that Arcade One Up put on their cap, and this one worked nicely this game so this game actually work with cocktail so you after I, it's a full screen after I die it flip to the other side so this this one is good this one work well with 2003 so yeah so there are some game will work and some game will not the one that do not work will always stay on this screen like Michael Jackson it will only play on this screen uh, now made me wonder does final fight work was because it's a two player with it split into two screen so that's something that I will try to add, see if it works. And X-Men with two player, this one, X-Men vs Street Fighter, this one work. But I think this one, doesn't it split screen? How do you play two player if it's not split screen, correct? I just demoed that, now I don't remember. I tried so many different games, now I don't remember. I think this one... So if I select... select... 
install. Oh, this one will not work. But it will play. Yeah, it doesn't have a split screen. This would be nice if this right here and then this is up here. But it doesn't work that way. Yeah, it doesn't have a it doesn't have a dip stretch. So th this one, oh yeah, I think when we try the other one, the X, yeah, yeah this one will work. This one, everything has to be played to play on this both side. Alright, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy it and hope this helped. So if you guys have some information, let me know. And, but I, I try to search for cocktail information. I do not have a whole lot of information from other people. So I figure I'll add this to the collection of people who want to know more about cocktail. And hopefully this will help you guys, uh, encourage you guys to uh, try different images and create more images. Alright, later talk to you all.